Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different and we are going to be making pickles, dill pickles to be exact. Um, I don't really like bread or butter pickles or anything like that. Dill pickles are my favorite. And this recipe I think is like the right amount of like sourness and sweetness and spicy. So it's just a really good recipe. Um, but I, I hope you guys follow along and you make them for yourselves. So first things first, we have to make the vinegar, the marinade. Um, and so we're going to be using one and one fourth cup of vinegar. So we're gonna turn on our stove. All right, to about medium high. And then we're gonna pour in the vinegar. All right. And then to the vinegar, we are going to be adding two tablespoons of sugar. Okay. And then after our two tablespoons of sugar, we are going to be adding three tablespoons of salt. One. Two. And three. All right, as that's coming to a boil, we're just going to prepare our cucumbers. Um, usually dill pickle recipes call for Kirby pickling cucumbers, but I actually found that these um, English like seedless, I guess, cucumbers um, are a lot better because they stay pretty crunchy um, in the marinade. And since um, this is a refrigerator method, you're not actually cooking these cucumbers, so they stay pretty crisp. Um, and then I have these quart sized jars, so I'm trying to eyeball just basically what um, where to cut it and making sure that it'll fit inside of the jar. And then making sure that I keep an eye on the boiling vinegar. You don't really need to stir it a ton, but if you would like to, you can. Just to make sure it all dissolves. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. And then what I like to do is, I think that quartering the cucumbers is too much. Um, I still think they're pretty large when they do that. So I usually like to cut my cucumbers in half and then I like to cut my cucumbers in thirds afterwards, all right? And if it's still looking too big for you, you can obviously cut it another time. Once everything is dissolved, you just want to turn off your heat. And then you want to add in two cups of water. So after you add the water to your vinegar, um, you can just let that be and let it cool down because again, it doesn't need to be hot when you add it to the actual cucumbers. So once you have your cucumbers all cut up, it's just basically time to assemble. So I have this one teaspoon of mustard seeds and I'm going to divide them, try to make them even into the two jars. I think I might have put a little bit more in this one, but it's fine. And then I'm going to take roughly four cloves of garlic. I like to smash them a little bit before I put them into the jars just so I release their juices. All right, so we have those four garlic cloves, so eight in total. And then this is two tablespoons of coriander seeds. And make sure you get the seeds and not the ground kind. And then again, I'm just gonna try to split it as evenly as I can. And then this is a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And you can add more or less depending on what your preference with spices is, but I really like spice, so half a teaspoon it is. What you're gonna wanna do is to take the dill sprigs that you have, and I usually use between 12 to 16 sprigs of dill. It just all depends on what I grew in the arrow garden, but 
you're, you're going to put the cucumbers and the dill sprigs in here um, kind of like every other if that makes sense and just try to get the dill like dispersed throughout the cucumbers so you don't have to cut up your dill at all because you can use the whole entire stem um, it's I think it's better that way and it honestly looks better so the first thing I'm going to do is just put the cucumbers in a little bit and then I'll just take some sprigs and then don't worry about overcrowding because the cucumbers do shrink a little bit once they're in the vinegar. Once your mixture has cooled, I usually like to transfer it into something that has a spout so it's easier to pour into my um, jars. And then you're just going to want to fill up to the brims. So basically anything to make sure that all the cucumbers are covered with the liquid. If your liquid mixture um, isn't enough to fill the whole entire two jars, that's completely fine. Um, you just have to top it off with a little bit of cold water and it should be ready to go as well. And then once you've filled it up, you just have to cover it and put the lid on. Alright guys, and there you have it, your own homemade dill pickles. So you're going to want to put this in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Um, I think they personally taste best after 48 hours, but do not keep this um, for more than a month just because we're not sealing it or anything like that. So make sure that you're eating this within a month and that's honestly not gonna be an issue because they're so good. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make some pickles and I hope some of you actually try the recipe out because it's honestly have been a hit with all of my friends and family. And let me know in the comments below what they think about it, what you think about it. And I will see you in the next one. See what I do next. Bye.